As and I quote, if a man wears long hair, it is a disgrace for him. So how about your hair? I don't want to go to <laughs> They often preach about respecting other people's religious beliefs, but don't really practice that themselves. There is a war on Christians right now, and it's unacceptable. Religious freedom is part of the foundation of our great nation. Muslims. They are all terrorists and should be banned from this country. They literally believe God will forgive most anything. Ugh, you're not trying to get me to go to church, are you? I'm just letting you know that I'm moving next door and I'm a registered s offender. I may or may not have multiple people. Okay, so I'm definitely moving now. Don't judge! The Bible says! The Bible says! John 1 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I can't wait to meet all the other forgiven and pedophiles in heaven. Many Christians are Republicans, and that alone makes them massive hypocrites. I love the Republican Party. Why? Because they're pro-guns, anti-abortion, and often Christian like me. Well, that's interesting, because the Republican Party is all about promoting rich people, and according to the Bible, rich people can't go to heaven. That's crazy. Luke 18.25, For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. And there you have it. The death of the Republican Party. What the heck?! They pretend to have certain values, but often contradict them. God. Hey, don't say the Lord's name in vain. Oh, you're one to talk with you, you smoke. Excuse me, I am righteous. Yeah, you know, well, you might want to look at 1 Corinthians 3.16, you hypocrite. Fine. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. God damn it! These crimes are so common in the religious community, they don't even come as a surprise anymore. Greg, wasn't your Christian pastor dad accused of, uh, children and women? Yes. I'm sure it's just an isolated example of Christian corruption. Yeah, I'm sure that's the case. Onward, Christian soldiers. They irrefutably oppress women. You know your religion is horrible to women, right? Nuh-uh. First Timothy 2.11. Let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. That's one example. Deuteronomy 22.28 says that if a man a woman, then all he has to do is pay the father money, and then she has to marry him. More non-believer propaganda. Here, check it out. Holy crap! Despite knowing how truly screwed up their religion is, they continue to follow it anyway. You realize the Bible is literally pro-slavery. Like, if the Bible was a person and could vote, they would say slavery is a good thing. What's the quote this time? Leviticus 25, 44. As for your male and female slaves, whom you may have, you may buy male and female slaves from among the nations that are around you. That's the Old Testament. It's a huge part of this book, the one that's the foundation of your religion, the Holy Bible. Old Testament, key word. Old. Okay, um, Ephesians 6, 5. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling. That's the Bible promoting slavery and the New Testament as well. Wow. You're still a Christian, aren't you? Yep. Idiots. In the drug.